2010 wasn't a bad year for movies, but just a little disappointing compared to 2009. The year started out with a bang, but slowly dwindled throughout the year and fell behind 2009 in terms of critical and commercial successes. Still, the past year had its share of very good films to films that deserved to be thrown into a bonfire. In my opinion, one of the best films of the year was The Social Network. The film earned astonishing reviews and earned great commercial success. The tale of Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook, is perfectly scripted with rich dialogue, beautifully directed, and is filled with incredible performances. I dare say that it is the 21st century version of Citizen Kane. Animated films like Toy Story 3 and How to Train Your Dragon prove that animation shouldn't be limited to just one genre. It is an art form to tell any kind of story, whether it be a comedy or a drama. They are enjoyable films that can appeal to any kind of demographic. Inception proved that summer blockbusters can be smart, thought-provoking, and action-packed. It's a heist movie that is set in one's mind with elaborate set pieces, massive special effects, and breathtaking shots. This is Christopher Nolan's most ambitious film yet. It is not a masterpiece, but it is a film that dares you to think outside the box. Films like 127 Hours and Black Swan have remarkable performances. James Franco, who stars in 127 Hours, has given the best performance of his career so far. In the film, he plays a rock climber who gets his arm trapped under a boulder and has to resort to desperate means in order to live. Based on a true story, Franco carries the entire film on his back and really gets into the mind of the character. Natalie Portman's performance in Black Swan is simply beautiful in a dark and twisted kind of way. Portman plays a ballerina who is trying to successfully pull a performance that combines the pure elegance of a white swan with the lustful allure of a black swan. Portman is in sync with her character as the audiences see the mental trauma as she experiences throughout the film. Other films worth checking out are The King's Speech, True Grit, The Kids Are All Right, The Fighter, and Winter's Bone, which are all nominated for numerous awards, and are truly some of the best pictures of the year. Now, let's move over to the trash. There are some unfunny films like The Virginity Hit and Grown Ups. There are horror films like Resident Evil Afterlife and My Soul to Take, which were painfully bad, and the 3D just made the experience even more unpleasant. Nevertheless, these films are nothing compared to the abomination called The Last Airbender. The Last Airbender is dull, forgettable, lazy, and just plain bad. This is M. Night Shyamalan's latest film, and it is an all-time low for him. There is no sense of danger in the film, and the battle scenes are just as exciting as watching paint dry. But guess what? This film is also in 3D, and it made the film unbearable. Shyamalan took a lighthearted anime and turned it into a heartless and bland film. This is John Reese for Xavier News.